Um, here's a truck we did um, a few weeks ago. This truck is running a Siemens pump, a Ford factory Siemens pump in place of where we were putting the CP3s in the past. It took us a lot of trial and error to get the bracket to make it work. Uh, I think you can get in here, you can see the uh, the nice pulley that we have going on there. Um, runs one single belt. The main alternator is the only thing that runs on it. Lines run up the back. These two hoses here, which kind of, or which look very bad, we installed these because we didn't make any modifications to the low pressure fuel system on this truck. We're running factory low pressure fuel system. We just, down in this area down here, we cut the hose. This line, we took the rubber, the flexible line off and replaced that hose with um, with regular hose and put a T-fitting on and we feed the CP3, or we feed the Siemens pump, sorry. Uh, Siemens pump that way and we return out of the Siemens pump into the fuel cooler and we just um, We drilled and tapped and made that fitting couldn't find one to buy anywhere So we just had to have have something made but other than that this truck uh, Running 30% over nozzles stock low pressure fuel system uh, twin twin Siemens fuelers made by us um, I always like to show off our intake tubes just because our intakes are awesome. Um, buddy down there in the bottom, we call him Soggy Bottoms, makes these uh, pipes and they're pretty crazy. And other than that, um, drop. Starts right up, um, maintains real pressure. Everything pretty good.